Hi, this is your host, Train Room Gary, saying welcome to my YouTube channel. Train Room Gary, Detroit Mackinac Railway, a Train Room Gary production. Let's get focused, let's get to work. How to install seated figures in passenger cars. Alright, when you're working on these cars, getting ready to put the figures in, you want to take notice where the back of the headrest is. See the headrest here? This will help you position the plastic figures in a proper location. So take notice where that is. Let's get started installing the, the plastic figures. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is I got this wooden cradle here. And uh, we'll position the car in this cradle so we can work on it. Now this car is held together, I believe, with, looks like eight screws. And I'll show you where they all are and how we're gonna get them out. So let's get started. All right, there's, uh, now outside of this car there are six screws. I'm just going to use a Phillips and a jeweler screwdriver. I will remove these screws. And just pop them out of there. Sometimes you can't quite reach them. You've got to take a pair of needle nose and go in there and grab them. That's it. Okay, there's two screws down here that have to be removed and two on this side and the end of the coach just comes off by grabbing onto it and removing it. Now the next issue is, is to get this tray out of here. This section is going to slide out and it's going to take some wiggling and jiggling to get this thing out of here. But this whole unit's going to slide out. So I'll get it started and I'll bring you back. All right, I started the uh, slide the deck out for the uh, inside of the car. It's kind of tricky. It almost takes two hands. See how it kind of slides out of here? I just stick this whole unit out, flip it over. There's a wire that holds this here. I'm going to keep that wire there. No need to unplug that. That's it's hard to get to the plug. So I'm going to work on this as one unit, keeping it all together. I'll be using two types of figures. I have this sack here from you can get these either on eBay or Amazon and these of course come from a local hobby shop these are kind of pricey you know you get here about 12 for 21 dollars and here you get about uh, say I want to guess I'll tell you the prices later but I think it's around 36 for 12 bucks and you go shop around eBay it's even some better prices now I bought some of these on eBay the problem with eBay is you have to wait about three weeks because they come directly from China and uh, there's another company that ships them to China, or to ship the company in China ships them to Amazon and is now selling them. So you want to knock the weight out, I'd recommend getting them at Amazon. Remember, I get no kickback from Amazon. I don't advertise, but just give you guys some free information here. Amazon has five different styles of seated figures. There are 24 pieces per package. And if you're running old scale, you want to make sure you get 143rd scale. They'll look the best with uh, Lionel and Real King and MTH. Okay, we'll put a little glue here on the seat. And I'll bring the guy in with some needle nose pliers. And we'll just kind of drop them in there. Also put some glue behind the guy too. Help get them in there. And just kind of hold him for a second. He can get his head away from the window. It doesn't look like he's drunk. That's it. That's how you get the guy in there. Okay, we got the little guy in. Let's continue on. I add a few more. All right, here's what comes next. You got to do some surgery on these people. And I'm going to use these pair of tent snips. I'm going to cut our legs off because they don't show. So I'm going to take your legs right off. Now we have a legless person there. Then I'm going to uh, Dremel tool for that. And basically I'm just gonna grind away on this, to make her sit lower. Take half this off. Now normally I do this over a trash can I got on the floor. I just did this up here so you can see it better. 
But over to the right, I got a can on the floor. I can just do it right over the trash can. And all that stuff will fall under the can. Put all glue on the seat. I'm just gonna drop her in here. She should be looking out the window. That's the plan to get her looking like she's looking out the window. And just kind of leave her there. And just kind of give her a little nudge if I have to. There you go. She's looking out the window and the little boy behind her is also looking out the window. All right, some of these smaller figures, I could take a file and just kind of file the butt off here a little bit so the glue will actually stick to the plastic and not to the paint. It doesn't take much, just a couple strokes of the file and it will clear the paint off. See how the paint's coming right off? There you go. Now he's ready for the glue. All right, we have all the little figures in. They're all seated in their seats. I have uh, two guys standing. There's a man standing here and a man standing over here. Let's just take one more look before we put it back together. Well, the way this works is this is going to go back on the top. I'm going to have to jiggle this all in here. And then this is all going to slide into the slots here on the bottom of the car. All right, I have the uh, the car in the cradle here. And now just a matter of pushing this all in. There it is, it's back in. It just kind of slides in two grooves. The base and then the top where the lights are at. Now that fine tune us a little bit. Get the ends on. All right, this blue thing here is a magnet. And I run my screwdriver over this. So when I stick it onto any of these screws, see how it stays there? And all I gotta do now is feed that screw down this little gap there and screw the end plates on. All right, now I'm gonna drop in the, the bottom of the car. That just should fit right in there. This is held in with six, six screws and there it is, just flopped into place. There is screws, two on, there's two screws on the end, and then two on this end, and there's two over here in the middle. So let's, let's, let's prop the screws in. Let's take a look at the little figures inside this Rail King passenger car. Take it back, take one more look at it. I think it looks pretty good. Looks better in person, it's hard to match all the glare off the plastic. But there you go. See the figures in a Rail King Amtrak coach. All right, this observation car is set up a little differently. It has a screw here at the end of it, easy to get to. And I have to move the truck, and there's a screw right down in here. So we have one here, here, down at the end on this side, and then behind the truck here. So I'll pop out those four screws and let's see what happens. After the screws are removed, in order to get the roof off, you have to twist the ends. Left hand, counterclockwise, right hand, clockwise, that roof will pop off. It's that simple. All right, I now have the uh, car opened. I opened up the ends by pushing one end clockwise and one end counterclockwise and the roof pops off. The diagram shows you how I did that. And this time I'm going to use these little guys here from Rail King, especially up here in the dome part of this car, so we can see the feet. I don't want to cut any feet off in the dome car because they're going to show. All right, for these little guys, I'm going to use this super glue or a cycle something or other uh, with gap filler. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom of these guys and just drop them in. There's no need to. Maybe we can put a drop on the seat just to make sure they have good contact. Now, once again, I got my window open here to get good ventilation during this process. Just basically put them in here. Let me kind of fine tune them a little bit and just let them rest a while. Okay, I got the uh, dome people in. I got a lady standing right here and a man standing back here. It gives a come. 
uh, activities going on. These are the plastic figures and how they come from Amazon. They come in these cool little cases. Some are left out in the open and some are bagged up. So this is what I've been using now to get more value for my money by, by using Amazon people. All right, let's take a look how easy it is to drop a figure in when you have these uh, nice windows alongside the car. Back here you can see the young lady in the red dress. And I'll we'll drop this gentleman right here in front of him. And I'll come back and I have some glue. Looking good. All right, we got all the people inside. Let's put the dome back on. Oh, one more thing. So you got a little guy here on the stairs. Let's drop him in there. Snap it in place. And there we go. I think we're ready to rock and roll. There's a dome car, little people on top. Another coach. And the last car in this train is what's called a private car. Some rich dude has his grand trunk western and it's being pulled by an Amtrak, of course, for pay. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Remember to ring the bell to get all the email notifications from my channel. Rate and comment. And as always, cheers from the Triton and Mackinac Railway. And check out these fine videos from my YouTube channel.